Kent, what are we doing here at midnight at the bottom of our eye gauntlet? Well, we have a 2017 Super Duty F450 Platinum. But we're towing 30,000 pounds. And this is the Super Eye Gauntlet, but it's more than that. Yeah. It's the ultimate midnight Super Eye Gauntlet. Yes, all that and a bag of chips. That is so cool. I mean, this, this is what you want for the Super Eye. We're at maximum trailer capacity, maximum payload on this new 2017 F450. So we're doing what the Super Eye was meant to do. Absolutely. And this is an exclusive. We're the first ones to do this. Yeah. Towing on this grade. And this is thanks to you guys, and of course, thanks to Ford for yeah. providing the trailer and the truck for us. We're the only crazy ones to be doing this at midnight. <laughs> The Ike Gauntlet is an extreme towing test going up the steepest interstate in the country up to 11,158 feet above sea level. It's an 8 mile stretch of highway at 7% grade. Now the big news for 2017 is under the hood. This 6.7 liter power stroke turbo diesel V8 puts out 440 horsepower and a class leading 925 pound feet of torque and you can have this torque rating in the F250 and the F350 trucks as well. It's backed up by a six speed automatic transmission and the 450 only comes with a 430 rear end. Ultimate Midnight Ike, we cannot compare this to anything we've done before because we're hauling 30,000 pounds right. and we haven't done that with other trucks yet. Yeah, we're the maximum, maximum, maximum. We're up here in the middle of the night pulling 30,000 pounds with this new F450 2017 Super Duty. This is a 30-foot trailer, 15,000 pound axles. We're loaded with rock pallets and some center block pallets. All lit up and flying up and down the Ike Gauntlet. Shout out to Michael V and the Ford crew for bringing this to Colorado. We haven't had a Ford Media launch in Colorado in a very long time. Mm -hmm. So this is this. awesome. You know, we're loaded basically to the max on this particular model because uh, this Platinum F450 um, is rated at the gooseneck towing of 30,100 pounds. Right. Uh, 21,000 pounds on the hitch, on the bumper pull. Uh -huh. And the payload rating Maximum payload rating for this particular configuration is 4,751 pounds. Yeah, so we're about maxed out. Right so there. we're maxed out on our payload considering our tongue weight and, and us here. Oh. The, the actual trailer brake bar is coming on, right? That is awesome because this adaptive cruise control doesn't just control the truck, it controls the trailer, which is wonderful. So it brakes the trailer when it needs to and actually turns on the brake lights on the trailer. So this is just so awesome. I've been waiting for a system like this for a long time. Most of the time, adaptive cruise control is not allowed with the trailer. Now look at this. I'm, it's locking on the trailer in front of me. And oh, and it's, it's slowing you down, down because there's a slower yeah. vehicle ahead? And then, see, it's slowing me down again. So this is how it's supposed to work. Look at that. I haven't touched a single You brake. haven't helped it? Nope, I haven't helped this at all. And it slows us down. We are going about 34 miles an hour. 34 according to the speedo? Right, and you know, we've got the adaptive cruise control set at 50. So it's doing its job. Look at that. I'm not touching anything. I just steer this puppy. We did a 2015 Ford F350 dually with 21,600 pounds. And that truck went up the hill in 9 minutes and 44 seconds. Go! I just started the timer at the uh, lights on the merge and I hit on the merge uh, lane we're already up to 52 miles an hour with okay. 30,000 pounds so so you're not using cruise control you're, you're no. doing the manual mode like right. we always do right everything's manual I do have the exhaust brake on tow haul mode okay I'm and you're flat out I are you wide open throttle okay and I'm almost up to about 54 miles an hour we're in the, the, the easy part so we'll see what happens. And how much did I say? 11 minutes and 5 seconds. That's my is, bet. Is that your bet? That's my bet. What are you at? I'll say 10 minutes and 25 seconds. Wow, you really, you really got a lot of confidence in Ford. 
Well, we do have a lot of torque, right? We do. And, we and what gear are you in? Can you tell I that? I am in fourth gear. Okay. So in fourth gear, we should have all the torques and all the horsepower available to us. Right. We're running about 2,800 RPMs at 55 miles an hour. Well, it's exciting, but it's going to get steeper and steeper, isn't it? I interrupt this video for a word from our sponsor, TFL Now. That's right, did you know we have a brand new YouTube channel called TFL Now? You can visit that by clicking above. And basically, YouTube will allow us to go live very soon, so we want to have a channel where we can do that. But before we do that, we're posting all kinds of cool new truck videos on TFL Now. In fact, recently Andre went to San Antonio, Texas and sort of kind of got the tour the Tundra factory. So if you want to check out a lot more cool truck videos, just click above and check out TFL Now. Because we're running this test at midnight, and one of the cameras we're using is showing green. So really? we have super stealth night mode. Oh, uh, cool. Are we dropping? Yeah, we're dropping down to 43 miles an hour. Are you still flat, I'm wide, wide open? open? Throttle and I'm in still fourth gear. Come on, truck downshift. Okay. If I let off the gas, it would downshift, but that's not how we roll. We just let the truck do its own thing. Okay. So we'll see how long it takes for the downshift. Well, we have no traffic issues. I mean, there's a semi up ahead, but I mean, at this time of day, is that the or fan night, coming on? I know it's a turbo. I almost hear something. I think there's a cooling fan just turned kicked on. There, there she goes. She downshifted. Now we're up to 26 RPMs. We're trying to get to 40. We're at 39 miles an hour. Okay. You know what? I'm starting to think that my number's going to be right. Well, <laughs> you, you're always right, Kent. <laughs> Yeah, and of course the 6.2 gas V8 is still available, but yes. not in the 450. No. No. And your cabin chassis, you still got the V10. The V10 and the cabin chassis, yep. Yeah, and so the 925 foot-pounds of torque, we're going to see what that does for us. Okay, so are you still at 40 uh, miles an hour? Yep, right at 40. Okay. And we're about 26, 2700 RPMs. So the cooling fan just shut off. It's about 55 degrees ambient temperature out yeah, there. Yeah, it's nice. So, so can, can we go over sort of the differences between the F450 and the 350 trucks? I mean, yeah. what, what are the differences between them? Well, the 450, you know, it has the 430. I'm not even sure it's available on the 350. I think the 410 is, yeah, is, that's, is, that's is what the I was ratio. Remembering. And, they, you know, they, they've changed quite a few things. The 350 will go up to 32,000 max with the gooseneck. Okay. And this will go up to 32,500, so that's fairly close. Okay. They're both, I guess, class 3 trucks. 14,000 GVW. Yeah. I think the 450 though gives you a little bigger brakes. They did make the front brakes. I think they're an inch bigger and the back ones maybe a half inch bigger uh -huh. for this year. This has 10 bolts like they did in 2015. On the wheels. 12 ply tires, 19.5s. Okay. So you got a bigger tire setup. All that's set up differently. Um, and both of them available with this new three inch receiver on the back. Both of them can have the two and five sixteenths and three inch gooseneck ball. Okay. So there's a lot of similarities. Uh, you know, this is the big brother. This one only comes one way though. You can only buy it in a crew cab, four wheel drive, long bed. Uh -huh. We have a few more configurations in the 350. Okay. Yeah, because you can get a regular cab, the uh, super cab, which is the yes. extended cab. Yes, and all the cabs are bigger. All three of them are bigger now. Because they're sharing basically from the A pillar to the C pillar is shared with the F-150, right? Yep, yep, the aluminum and one plank can make all the cabs in the world. And you know, this truck, you know, it's, it's you gotta drive these a lot of miles to really understand the ride differences. This finally first year has the hydraulic cab mount on the super cab and the crew cab, mm -hmm. which is new, which I like. Uh, I mean, there's, there's a lot of things they've done to improve the ride on it. Uh, they changed the suspension somewhat. It's got heavier springs front and rear, bigger bolts in the eyes. It's got uh, you know bigger bushings. I guess they're called the uh, clamp kind of system on the the anti sway bar in the front, the stabilizer bar, which is bigger. The steering has fairly good on center feel, right? Are you, did yeah, it you does. agree? It does. It's uh, you know some of these trucks are really light steering, some are really heavy steering. Ford used to be heavier, and then they changed it to where it was a lighter steering. I would say this is a little past light. So actually, it's comfortable. I mean, when we get these on the road, do a thousand miles on, we'll know everything about how they ride and how they steer. But from what we, the, the miles we've put on this so far, yeah, I mean, I'm not using a whole lot of effort with that depth of steering. 
why don't we do the Super Ike and the Ike Gauntlet? I mean, we want to stress this, this trucks out, right? Exactly. You want Find elevation out. and grade, all that, you know, you get to that high, you got less air, all the things you need a turbo for. Yeah. We want to stress the trucks out to make sure to see what they're made of. Right. And also to make sure that, uh, you know, you guys and everybody can safely tow. I just uh, lost my bet. I bet 10 minutes and 28, 25 seconds. We're at 10 minutes 30 now. So it looks like you are correct. Again? But we're having a little bit of an issue up ahead. Uh, it looks like yep. they may have closed one of the tunnels. That's not good. Left lane closed. We're, we're almost done. Oh, Left man. lane closed. How are we going to swerve around all this mess? Well, I Can you go in the right are. lane? Uh, and go just a smidge further? You can try. Oh no, there's, there's no more lanes. There's no more lanes. That's how close we are to the tunnel. We are okay. so close to the tunnel. We'll stop. Oh. Let me, let me, let me stop the counter. 11 minutes 23. And so we'll we're, say I won. <laughs> you did win. <laughs> and we're within what? What would you say? Oh. A football field? Yeah, the tunnel's right there. Oh, oh. man. You were closer on the dock than, yeah, than I was. I'm showing 2.3 miles a gallon on this okay. truck computer. Okay. The, uh, when we did the 2015 F350, that reading was 2.7. Yeah, so that's... But, close. I mean, this is an extreme case, right? Right. We're wide open throttle for basically nearly 8 miles. Uh, we'll be doing a lot more 2017 Gold Hitch Award runs. Yes. And those will be direct head-to-head -head comparisons uh, which with trucks in each category, you know, half tons, heavy duties, mid-size, uh, you name it. So that's all coming up over the next few months. Go to tfltruck.com for more news, views, and real-world reviews, and super ride gauntlets, and all kinds of stuff, right? Yes, and then come on by to mrtruck.com, and you'll see all of our reports and our videos. And don't you have a lot of accessories there as well? Yeah, we do. We are big into the, you know, what we have for accessories, what I think is the best in each class. So we don't sell a lot of them, but we sell the top ones. Ford invited me here to an off-road course they set up to show off the features of the brand new 2017 Ford Super Duty FX4 package. <laughs> and a lot of fun on the off-road course is coming up right now. Does the FX4 package give you more ground clearance yes. or is it the same? The same. The same. But it also has off-road shocks, is that yes, right? Yes, yes. The shocks have been uh, tuned for off-road driving. So they're a little bit softer. And they're probably a little bit helpful um, on the road, aren't they? Yeah, they uh, they give you a better ride off-roading, yes. 